Good day people, today I bring you the very first how-to on making time lapses using Fraps. So first off, what we'll need is obviously Fraps and a video editing software. Make a folder somewhere on your computer where you can save all the images. As you can see, I got a bunch of images and a folder for this demonstration purpose. Next, what you'll need is make up your mind on what file type you want to use. Um, I recommend either JPEG or PNG. I like PNG better because um, it's very faithful to what the image actually is, meaning there's no compression. But that comes at the cost because the files are going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, I find JPEGs stay around 100 kilobytes, and PNG stay around 300 kilobytes, which are both very small. But now you know. Next, what you'll need is your hotkey, which should be F7 or whatever you want. Next up, repeat screen capture every. I find two seconds is good for, is good on average. Period. Uh, you could try experimenting to see how fast uh, you can go, but I find two is good. So next, just make sure you change this to the folder that you made. And once that's done, just press F7 and you'll see. So right now we're in, we're in modeling footage. So if I go to the bottom and press F7, you'll see um, images will start being created. Excellent. So let me press F7 once again. I don't need these, so shift delete. Now once you got your folder set up and everything seems to be working, you'll encounter one little problem when trying to import this into your video editing software. And that is, this is an image sequence rendered with uh, 3ds Max. And as you see, it renders it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. And when you import that as an image sequence, your video editor knows that this is a video in images. But, as you can see, Fraps does not label their images like that. So 20, 20, 21, 19, 19, 20. So when you're trying to import this as an image sequence, it just doesn't know what to do with it. So this is the little trick on how to make this work. Let's hop right into the video editing software. Okay, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, all you gotta do now is make the sequence for the time lapse. So let's go into File, New Sequence. Now. My screen isn't exactly 720p, so to import the images, I'm going to have to tweak this a little bit. So press on the preset, or whichever preset you use, and go into settings. Now this will be different in all your video editing softwares, but basically change the sequence or composition size to whatever your screen is, or actually to whatever the pictures are. So let's go over here. Mine is 1366 by 768. So make it 1366 by 768. Now you won't, you probably won't have these exact numbers, but put in whatever the images are for you. Next, uh, just press OK. So now we have a custom size that will fit our pictures perfectly. So let me demonstrate um, importing an actual image sequence and the fraps footage. So you're going to do import and find the footage. Now, as you see, if you had an actual image sequence, you could easily click on one of them and click on image sequence and then press open. As you see, this is now a video. So let's try to import the fraps footage. So now we're going to try to import this fraps footage. So as you can see, we have the option to import as an image sequence, but when we press open, this happens. It's nothing, it's just one frame. So this is how we get around that. Uh, I suggest you make a folder so that there's not a million images. Open it, and now import, or actually let's just drag them all in. Now depending on how many, now depending on how many images you have, this might take a little while. So just click on the first image, then scroll all the way down, hold down shift and click on the last image. This will select everything in between. And I suggest you grab the top image just to avoid any annoying displacement. Okay, I just finished importing the images and I realized that I forgot to go over one step. So what you want to do before you import, just go into Edit, Preferences, General. And basically, if you're not using Premiere, uh, try to find wherever 
you can find the default length of an, a still image. Now, as you can see, we're set at 150 frames. And if we just imported 3,000 images at 150 frames, that would not be a time lapse. That would just be a very long, boring, just boringness. So what you're going to do is change it down to one frame and press OK. Now we can import everything. So click on the top image, Control A to select everything. And now behold, drag it into here. And my gosh. Let it render a bit. Now at this point I don't recommend starting to click everything, otherwise you might crash your computer depending on how powerful it is. So now, let's make a new sequence. So, file, new sequence. 720p preset, let's go in 24 frames per second. Let's go OK. Basically you want to drag your time lapse into your sequence number 2. And as you'll see, it keeps the native size of the images and now you can just right click and scale to fit frame size wherever that is right there and now it fits in the box perfectly so now that you get your footage uh, you can edit as you wish and render and that's how you do it I hope you learned something new and as always thanks for watching until then